Is the SEC about to settle the Ripple case finally? Are we about to move on? Are we about to get the clarity that we need to really start taking off? Let's talk about it. Also, I've got some great clips in this video. We're going to talk about US banking partnerships with Ripple. Volante is a huge one. I also have a clip from Brad Garlinghouse talking about an XRP ETF. You're going to love this video. Stick with me through the whole thing. Let's go ahead and learn some stuff together. Breaking, uh, there are rumors from incredible sources that XRP settlement is coming. The SEC closed door meeting is near. So this is supposed to take place today at 2 p.m. Eastern. This already happened. This video, I will try to get it out tomorrow. I will talk to Cass to try to get this rushed out tomorrow. But this is very, very exciting. We also have this clip from Paris Blockchain Week with Brad talking about an XRP ETF. Let's go ahead and play this and see what's going on. Opportunity to pass. So we look, first of all, the SEC did everything in their power to prevent the Bitcoin ETF from launching. They fortunately had to go to the United States through the judicial branch to get the, the forcing the SEC's hand to launch the Bitcoin ETF. And the irony there is like, if you have consumers want this, institutional players want this, and this, you know, very efficient markets, you're kind of like, well, what? It gets back to the whole point of like, the United States SEC seems way more focused on politics than sound policy. That's okay. very true. With that commercial over. Look, the Bitcoin ETF has been great for the market, continuing to see inflow into the Bitcoin ETF, that makes no sense. I think this is just the beginning. I mean, it's an incredible time to be alive. Think about this because I mean, I, I, I've made the point that 90 years ago, the U.S. stock market was kind of introduced or launched. And maybe it was closer to 100. But anyway, a long time ago. You didn't want to own just one stock. Like that doesn't actually, you did. I mean, have more risk. And so one of the things I think we all have learned over the years is you reduce risk through diversification. I, I, I told David this backstage, when friends of mine ask me, hey, I want to invest in, or how should I do that? I always say, look, invest in a basket. I'm not saying just buy Bitcoin or just buy XRP. You want to invest in a basket and have diversification. So look, I think there will be other ETFs. Unfortunately, I think it's going to take a little bit of time because the United States SEC is fine that. But I, I think one of the things that people don't fully understand that they haven't really paid attention to. In the United States, there's only two cryptos that have regulatory clarity. Bitcoin, and because of the fight we had with the courts, XRP has regulatory It's not a security. Okay, if you didn't know this, the SEC has to approve any ETF, right? It goes through them, right? And the problem that we have here is that you're having people like Elizabeth Warren putting pressure on Gary Gensler to just basically block everything. And it's taking court battles to even get the Bitcoin ETF approved. And the rumors are that an Ethereum ETF is getting approved very soon. Uh, and, and you're having some of that stuff happen in the market. But if we want an XRP ETF, we're, we're going to probably need a new head of the SEC. And now what we're hoping here is that there's enough pressure on the Biden administration to replace Gary Gensler because what he's done over the last few years is put roadblock after roadblock after roadblock and not allowing the markets to decide what people want to to get a piece of and what people wanted to get invested in. as brad said it is an amazing time to be alive as we move to this digital transformation this digital revolution there are going to be assets that are going to lead the way in financial technology and xrp and ripple are at the heart of all of this and so that is i think it's a differentiator it does matter to answer your macro point look there will be other etfs in the united states i hard to predict the timeline because i don't know how hard gary gensler and this sec will fight i'll also just make a point gary gensler will not be the chair of the sec in you know, probably a year and a half or two years time there will be a new leader a new perspective and i hope a more constructive perspective from the united states government let's hope to work with this industry I think we all acknowledge this industry is not going away. And the events like Paris Blockchain we keep growing for a reason. Not only the event, the community, the interest from other major players, and it, it's, it starts to grow out of only the financial sector. So that's something that I witnessed and I think I'm about is more and more people get educated about blockchain, get a better understanding of the difference between crypto and, and all, all the, the funds they heard in the last year. I think also the bear markets have to look. Um, counting down and getting people into the real potential of blockchain. Okay, let's move on. So you're also seeing this all over Paris, right? You're having these little, what are these called? Anyways, they're like little electric cards that people are getting driven around in and they have XRP. Get on board with XRP Ledger. I, I love it, right? All this advertising, right? And when you look at Ripple's partnerships with US banks, you have to really understand that when a bank like Bank of America, one of the biggest banks in the world, starts to use an asset like XRP, it puts pressure on all the other banks 
to use an asset like this to move value around the planet at the speed of light, right? This is a game changer. And what this will do is it'll force more banks to adopt blockchain technology. And at the end of the day, if we're holding assets like XRP, we will benefit from all of this, right? And when you look at this, right? Banco Santander, Bank of America, Standard Charter, Canadian Imperial Commerce Bank, or Bank of Commerce, uh, CLX, I can't, I can't say that name, CM Commercial Bank, American Express, right? When I when I open up my credit, or, you know, my, my wallet, right? There's Visa, there's American Express, there's MasterCard and a few others, right? But when you really look deep down, Visa has, has, has bought Earthport and a few other things, right? They are connected to Ripple and XRP, right? You have MasterCard partnerships, you have American Express partnerships, they all want in. And then when we look at this, Santander runs on Ripple. Banco Santander is the biggest bank in the, the Eurozone by market capitalization. And we have over 140 million customers around the world. The reason why we were, we as Santander were interested in, in, in Ripple and able to move quickly into this space uh, was, was driven ultimately by the customer need and actually that search for solutions as to how to create that kind of customer experience. Ripple addresses helps us address some of those pain points that we have seen in the past with some of our customers. And that's around being able to generate that certainty and that transparency along the transaction so that we can show that to our customers when they're making their, their payment, they can see how much is going to arrive and they've got that, that certainty about the timing as well. And Ripple also helps us address the speed point as well so we, we've seen some you know some of our payments now are instant which for an international payment you don't say a, a, a great this one bank has a hundred and forty million customers right ripple is connected to billions of people through these banking connections it's truly incredible when you think about the scale of this right when you look at crypto as a as a market we are still in a fully speculation market. We haven't reached the point where we are actually in the use case, right? Where we're, we're, we're investing in assets that are actually the use case around a digital asset, right? We're still speculating, oh, this is gonna be big. This is gonna be big, but we haven't really got full institutional players in the XRP arena just yet, but they are coming. And then you also have this, right? Ripple partner, uh, Ripple partner Volante completes FedNow testing. So. Ripple and XRP can be used in the US's new instant payment system, FedNow. Uphold, a digital asset platform based in the US, sent ripples through the XRP community on April 4th, 2024, by confirming that FedNow through Uphold processes XRP transactions for instant US dollar withdrawals. It's there. It's being used. It works. And then you also have, you know, uh, people like Crypto Barbie or Amelie. Uh, Uphold has confirmed that FedNow facilitates XRP transactions through select U.S. bank accounts. I mean, it's right there. The writing is on the wall, right? The technology advancement and legal victory have opened the doors for U.S. banks to incorporate XRP in their international payments systems. And then you also have connections through Revolt, right? You have XRP, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. And then... When you're talking about other partnerships, Accenture is a prime example. They have hundreds of institutional banks and clients all going through this. And you have alliances and partnerships, Ripple's right here. You also have R3, of course, Hyperledger, of course, Ethereum Alliance, blah, but you also have Ripple. And then I've shown this in past videos, but the vol pay system through Volante, right? Look at the volume in Volante. $1.4 trillion of value processed every single day, okay? You are talking about $400 trillion a year being processed through Volante. And through Volante, you could actually use Ripple's infrastructure and use XRP, right? Swift GPI, Ripple, Visa B2B, okay? And here you go, right? FedNow Instant Payments, the Clearinghouse RTP, and SEPA Payments. All through Volante, all that can use XRP, right? If you are learning something in this video and you are not subscribed to the channel, Please, we are trying to get to 25,000 subscribers. I can only do it with your help, and I really appreciate you. The, the channel is blowing up, and it's all because of you. My heart goes out to you. Thank you so much. But we, we are there. We are on the precipice of something truly incredible happening in crypto. In the U.S., there's only two assets that are approved, right? You have XRP and Bitcoin. If the U.S. builds a central bank digital currency, which we know is coming, whatever your personal feelings are about it, totally fine. I'm not here to debate your personal feelings. I'm here to tell you that it is coming. And if they're going to, to, to launch it, what are the assets that are approved that you can launch it on? 
okay, there's Bitcoin, but there's XRP and Ripple. And we know central bank digital currency can't be done through, through Bitcoin. It's too slow, it's too costly, and it's not energy efficient. We're not here to debate uh, Bitcoin, but it's XRP, right? Ripple has worked with the government four years with the US government. They're working with the UK government, right? You have rumors in Japan, Australia, right? South America, okay? All over Europe. You have the Palau stablecoin, Montenegro. There's so many central bank digital currencies that will be built out on the XRP ledger, right? Imagine all of that value, right? Digitizing bank deposits, right? Sovereign currencies, stock, bond, derivative. We, we talk about this a lot on this channel, but that is where true value will come from. Remember, it's not about the, the distraction of what the price is today. It's what the use case is, the impact on the globe, and the development that we are about to go through is going to be an astronomical feat that we are, it, it, Brad Garlinghouse said it, right? It is the most amazing time to be alive right now, right? You have the opportunity to invest in an asset that is going to be used by central banks. You have never had that opportunity before, but it is here now. And only you can take the steps to make the decision to own a piece of the entire world's financial system. You have that opportunity. Let that sink in for a second, right? The price right now, 60 cents, distraction. The use case for the globe is enormous. Billions and billions of people billions of bank accounts, banks all over the world, thousands, tens of thousands of banks can all use XRP to facilitate payments. You don't see that with really any other asset. Sure, X and Lemon Stellar are doing a great job in the trade fi industry will do a great job. But when it comes to central banks, Ripple takes the cake, eats the cake, and that is it. That is how exciting the day is right now and you have the opportunity, but you need to believe, you need to research, and you need to make the steps in your life. Talk to a financial advisor, make sure that they understand crypto, and make sure that this is an asset that you feel that you've done the due diligence, that you've done the research, and you know it in your heart that this is going to be used on a massive scale. Take the, take the plunge, take the dive, and I'll see you on the other side.